Welcome to the channel. We got a whole bunch of stuff to do on this thing. We've got a bent tie rod, we've got an oil leak, it needs a new battery, it's gonna get an oil change. There's probably a few other things I'm forgetting, but all that stuff is super boring. What I'm here to show you guys is this. This thing is a 3D scanner, and I'm gonna show you guys how this can help any type of fabrication project. This is a Creality Ferret Pro. This video is not sponsored by them, so I'm not gonna go through all the specs and all that. You guys could look it up. I'm not saying this is the best one. I did some research, this met my needs. So all that other stuff I mentioned earlier in the video, we'll do that off to the side, off camera. Let's get to the fab work and show you how this is the best tool you could have if you're a fabricator. I got some stuff apart first, so let's get to it. Hey. All right, so last night we got the stator cover off. What happens on these things is there's like a little boss in here, I'll show you guys, that breaks off. So it's this one right here. So this little, this is aluminum, and this little boss is kind of known to snap, not just on this side, but on this side, right there. Articat has an update for that, but we don't want to replace this entire case. I'm gonna spare you guys all the details because I'm sure there's other videos online showing this exact mod. I just wanna show you guys how cool this 3D scanner is. So the idea is to have some sort of plate welded in here to give this some strength. And then the same, same thing in here. The idea is to have some sort of plate in here that adds some strength to this boss. I'm not suggesting you go buy a 3D scanner just for this task specifically, because this could obviously be done with just some cardboard and uh, you know a grinder and I'm sure it'd be good enough. But since we have a 3D scanner, let's play with it. Hey! I think I'm done the design for in here. Um, I printed it one-to-one -one scale over here. We're gonna cut it out, test fit it. If it's all good, then we'll uh, move on to the piece that goes in the machine. So let's uh, do that. Let's see how it fits. Well, look at that. I am genuinely impressed. I thought for sure the the scanner was going to be slightly off on some of these dimensions and I was going to have to kind of tweak it a little bit, but it's perfect. Look at that. Senkatsen. <laughs> Look what's in the box. They even throw in Skittles. Sticker. Oh yeah, that looks good. There you go. I ordered a few extras to help out some of the other wildcat riders out there. Some nice quality stuff right there. Like a glove, perfect. And another perfect fit, look at that. Pretty excited about how useful this 3D scanner is gonna be. All I did is scan the, scan the parts, design the new parts, get them cut, bam. I would have spent more time trying to cut those by hand, to be honest. If anyone's wondering, I'm gonna be using a Primeweld TIG 225X to do uh, the aluminum TIG welding on this. In fact, Primeweld sent me this a little while ago, but I was waiting for a good video opportunity to open it, so I think this is a good time. Sweet! Hey. <laughs> That looks pretty cool up there. Uh, it needs to be bigger next to the Articat banner, I guess, but that's all temporary. Uh, the Prime Wild one will actually go into the fabrication area, which is right gonna be underneath the mezzanine in there. Um, we'll talk about shop stuff in another video. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get welding. Hey. I'm really glad this video is about the scanner and not welding because that was challenging. 
It's gonna hold, but it was not pretty. I'll tell you that much. All right, so that was definitely a successful uh, project. Pretty excited about the 3D scanner. Cleaning everything before I button everything up. Awesome. So just finished editing the video and it's under six minutes long. So I figured, hey, why not go to the shop and uh, scan a few other things so you guys could kind of see what this uh, 3D scanner is capable of. So here you could see a 40 inch bogger, kind of cool thing uh, to try scanning. Not extremely useful for uh, for CAD work or for, fa for fabrication work, but in either case, pretty cool to see the detail. It picked up the tire just fine. It didn't do the entire tire here. Next thing we're gonna do is the truck. Um, let's just say you wanted to design a new bumper or add a winch behind the bumper or something like that. I decided, hey, let's try giving the, the tow rig a scan. So check that out. It turned out awesome. It doesn't pick up the headlights as you can see, but the, and I did this in like less than five minutes, this entire scan. You could easily design a bumper from this. Um, you'd probably take the bumper off and scan wh where the bumper mounts if you were to actually design a bumper off this. But in either case, like, the 3D scanner is going to be extremely useful for de for uh, designing stuff and uh, for fabricating stuff. So yeah, pretty excited um, how this turned out. I think you could even scan an entire vehicle. You might have to do it in multiple scans. I might try that in a future vid video. Next thing here I'm going to try to scan is a uh, one-ton front axle. This is a pretty typical thing in uh, off-road fabrication here. And you can see all sorts of details were picked up. Again, this was a super fast scan, but if I wanted to design a truss for this axle, I'd have no problem doing that with this level of detail. Uh, I kind of want to show you guys a cool feature about the scanner. It could actually scan in color. So take a look at that. That's like it picked up all the colors off the Wildcat. It could help you identify features when you're designing and things like that. Pretty impressive scans. So I'm gonna say I could easily do all sorts of cool fabrication work using a 3D scanner. And uh, you're gonna definitely see this in many future videos.